Rolls, yes. Well, I can uh, We're going to do uh, bacon and stilton bread rolls to go with the uh, celery soup. Um, I'm just showing you. What we've got here is 60 grams of unsalted butter. I've cut it into small pieces. And then I'm going to add uh, 500 grams of just normal white flour. And uh, 7 grams of fast action dried yeast. And 10 grams of salt. And then we're going to mix it with some water. And make a lovely smooth door right pay attention keep the salt separate from the yeast okay don't mix them together once they were in the flour you can stir the flour but do not put the salt with the yeast before you add it to the flour because it just won't give you the reaction that you want so what we're going to do now is just gently stir it with a spoon handle there we go so the next step two tablespoons of oil and a bit of water add the oil two tablespoons and then I'm going to gradually mix 320 ml of uh, tap water film and leave it for about three hours. Cover it with clean film, nice and tight at the top and uh, you want to leave it two to three hours until it's doubled almost trebled in size and that will, believe me, it's a beautiful door that. It's as good as it gets. It's as good as it gets. Alright, cut. Right viewers, we're about halfway through there. Look at the size of that door. It's uh, about an hour and a half that. Um, that's a good, good rise. Okay, well, while it's rising, I'm going to fry some uh, dry fry some bacon lard on there. It's about 120 grams, and uh, we're just going to dry fry them until they've uh, turned a colour nice, nice and golden-ish, and uh, they're going to be fantastic on the bread. This fantastic, right? Oh, look at that, viewers! Isn't she a beauty? <laughs> Oh, making a bread dough, you know, it's all about oh, timing, timing, patience and timing. It's like making love, patience and timing. Right, we're going to knock that back in a minute, put the cheese on, put the bacon on, and we're going to make rolls. Yes. Right, viewers, just to... You want to be prepped here. Before you knock the door back, right, get the baking trays lined. Uh, you need a, a door scraper. Uh, you're going to want some flour for your work surface. And you're going to need a couple of big polythene bags to cover the baking tray for the second proofing. All right? Right, we're going to knock it back now. Just going to put a load of flour down, and I mean a load. Just wash it around. Because this door is, is, is wet, it's going to be fantastic. It's harder to manage, but so uh, you will get used to it with practice. I used to be terrified of So, we're just going to try now. And a couple of sticking. Oh my. Get it out of there. Get 
in there with that. There we go. Alright. This hole down there, oh, it's full of her. This full of her. Amazing. This is my knuckles now.
So, as you can see, uh, we're going to put them in polythene bags now for about an hour. Just showing you in the bags there, uh, and uh, don't touch them, don't move them, and leave them for one hour. This is the second proving. Right then, uh, we've waited an hour, so uh, that's my six with the oven. We're going to put a bit of water on the top. I'm going to put them in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes on gas mask. See? Paper dusting. Don't forget, wash on top and then uh, just the paper dusting like that. There we go viewers, that's the first batch out. The second batch is going in now. The sour soups on the pan, in the pan. Oh gosh, uh, freezing days and uh, somebody could be in between. Okay, what we're going to do now is just uh, test the bottom. Oops. Follow up. Yeah, that's how all that. There we go viewers, we sell the receipt, bacon and uh, stuff and rolls and uh, a nice glass of Chardonnay. <laughs> oh yes. 20 minutes later, there's the second batch. Um, as you can see, I've uh, already had some, but look at that crumb structure. It's uh, pretty, good. pretty good is that. Best bread I've ever made. And um, looking forward to doing some more. Well, I hope you have a go, viewers. And uh, if you've got any problems or making this or any questions, pop me a line. I'll be glad to help you.